My name is Tyra Polanco, and this is my story. Let's see if I were to go back in time. The only thing that I would change is the way I treated myself when it came to going out with my brother. I actually wish that I went out with my brother, played ball with him, went out, did all this stuff. I would always eat food and just play games. There was never once a time where I just went outside, you know, and relaxed. I would always choose games over activities, playing outside, going to the park. It was always games, games, and games. And nothing really told me, oh, like, you know, everything was fine as long as I played games. That was the, that was sort of the mentality that I had when I was a, a kid. And I wish that, like, instead of that, I was able to, you know, go outside and play the sports that I play now. At the age of 15, uh, I was, uh, I weighed at my max being 240, and I used to be bullied by people close to me, not even friends or people from school. It was those that I cherished near me, which was my family, mostly my, bro uh, my older and my little brother. They would talk about how I resemble this one character. Uh, it started to reach its max, I guess you could say. And it really just made me feel really aggravated about the way I lived life. And I decided to change. I wouldn't say anybody outside really impacted me in a way to like, oh, this guy looks like this, or I want to be like him. It was more as to my brother was in the same as me. And realized, you know what, he changed for himself, why can't I? He was the one that really changed throughout the years. When he was little, he used to be fat as well. And he started going out, playing ball, losing all this weight. And while he was doing all this, I'm just there in my house, not doing anything about it. And I was like, you know what? Uh, what if I just join him this one time? So I started following his footsteps. I started going to the gym with him. And slowly but surely, he started teaching me form and then sooner or later, it was me who had to decide for myself if I was going to commit to something. So I started working out by myself and I started doing certain stuff all by myself without needing him. I just knew that I had to work harder than I'm working as of now. Besides going to the gym, there was wrestling. Many people say, oh, damn, wrestling is gay, this, this, and that. But really, it's all, uh, uh, it's all a mental sport. The motivation that it takes to be in wrestling, and also the way that people inter uh, interact with one another, is truly life-changing. It's also a big family. And I feel like when it comes to wrestling, everyone's really supportive, and it has made me who I am today. And when it came to me playing basketball, I would always go out with my friends and to First Street, which is the public uh, basketball court. And when I'm playing basketball, I'm just being who I am. When it comes to goals, I would have to say that the goals that I have passed and those that I haven't reached yet, 
are all intertwined and always growing. There's always new goals that are being incorporated into my life. I always had a new goal whenever it came along. Uh, whether it was to make someone stop talking a certain way, make people see me differently, or just being a better version of myself. I look at my photos as motivation. As in like, oh, I was at this point in my life and I am where I am now. My mom telling me this, this, and that has led up to me actually going at the end of the day. My name is Howard Polanco. And my story might just be a common one, but at the end of the day, it's my story and it's just the beginning.